again, this is Glenda Marks, and this is the part two of the Cottage Garden collection from Tim Coffey. And here is another page that I created using one of the flowers that he painted. As you can see here, I made another face out of paper clay. Um, these faces are made out of a mold. I can give a tutorial about how I enhance the features because the mold is pretty boring. It's just a face without any expression whatsoever. <laughs> so I am smirks and, and smiles and and so forth. And this one is a very peaceful face so I just left it like it is and added a little bit more dimples to her face. Uh, I painted her face with watercolor paint to match the, the, color, the color scheme here of this flower. And this is a fiber yarn that looks like moss or grass or I don't know. I added stickles here at the background here to make it look like a crown. And as you can see, here's the whole page. I used one of the dimensional um, stickers from the collection. And, and when you open it, you have a pop-up. You can put a photo back here and a photo down here. Now, as you can see, the paper line here, here's the flower that I cut out. And this is part of the leaves that I also cut out from the second page that comes in the collection pad. So I cut this out to form this flower here that you see. And the leaves, to give them such a, a curve, what I did is that I uh, cut them out and I pieced them together. And I put wire here in the back to give it, um, so, so I can bend it and make the, the leaves curve a bit, as you can see here. So that's wire behind the leaf. I taped it behind the leaf and then I glued it down kind of give her a lifelike feel. At least I think it does. And I like to add a pop-up using the die cuts from the collection. And like again, I just use the border adhesives and I don't do much in the inside because I don't want to cover up the, the flowers that Tim Coffey did here. Very pretty page. I like this one. This is one of my favorites. There's a close-up of her face again. Alright, next page. Since this is called the Cottage Garden Collection, I decided to make a cottage. This uh, cottage here, I made it entirely out of paper, and the roof is made out of raffia that you can get at Michael's. And I spray it with uh, Moon Glow. Uh, lamb, 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 lamb bugger green, I think it's called. <laughs> I'm sorry if I butchered the name there, but um, it's one of those moon, moon glows. Um, no, shadow glow. See, I'm saying the name wrong. <laughs> has a brown ink, but has a green shimmer to it. This one, and I chose this one because it has that. Looks like it has moss on the rooftop. Then I cut out balsa wood here. Also spray it with the same product to tie in all the color scheme there. The little door that you see here is from one of the Cricut car cartridges. I can't remember the name right now. Uh, it's one of the old Cricut cartridges that first came out. And I used the adhesive cutouts that came in the collection. And I used the Martha Stewart punch and I put crackle paint on it. And the whole thing ties in pretty well. That's my little cottage. There's a mirror here behind the balsa wood uh, window frame. Just to give it a look like it's a real mirror. I mean a real window. You open it up and this is how you could put a photo here or or journaling. You could put your photos back here and it will be hold in place behind these flowers that are here. Because I like to cut them out and add some dimension to the pages. Again, I love this page. <clears throat> Excuse me, I love this page because the flower is so beautiful. And that's the whole page there. 
And my last page here is um, the Warriors. At the at the cover the cover uh, of my album has a little warrior fairy or flower, and I ended with two here. Their faces are sculpted. Um, they come from a mold. I could show you that later, but I added smirks and move their lips around to make them look like they're smiling and this one has a smirk it looks like he's about to burst out laughing <laughs> he's so cute both faces were sprayed down with um, starburst I think it's called starburst stains well it's from Lindsay Stamp Gang I'm new at this <laughs> I'm trying my best to explain what I did this is the whole page the headdresses are made from the flowers from the collection. I cut them out, curved them to add dimension to make it look like they're wearing headdresses. I cut pieces of, of the, the leaves and stalks from the, the flowers to make it look like part of the base of the flower here. And I added jewels to make it look like he's wearing a crown or a part of the headpiece. And this is part of the collection too the leaves and when you open it up hope you can see it it's a pop-up and what I did here I cut out the flower here to match exactly the page of of this of this one so then when you open it up the flower pops up at you and I have added a little bumblebee there you can put a photo back here and you can put a photo here Again, this paper, um, this paper line is so beautiful. I like the foil accents on this page. Don't want to cover up, but I mean, you can put a photo there, of course. But leaving the paper itself is quite, quite beautiful. And that's the back right here, which is the first page that comes in the paper line, and it's also foiled which is on the front too but it's pretty much covered with all this going on and last but not le last but not least um, these I made these myself um, these are called I think these are similar to what that's out there in the Prima um, which are called what, candy gems but I made my version of them so I added these little tiny beads and, and a leaf here to make it look like a flower and chose the color so it would tie in to the front cover. Again, this entire mini is made out of only the paper line of the cotton co cottage garden all um collection. I didn't use anything else besides what he gave me in the prize. And you can do a lot just using your creativity and imagination. And there you go. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for another video I'm going to put up soon. Thanks.